Here are eight hero dogs. Number two isn't fat, he's just a little husky. Number eight. In mid-2018, a group of six English SAS soldiers were on road patrol in a village in Syria. When the soldiers stopped to exit their vehicles, they were ambushed on all sides by a group of nine rebels. Luckily for the SAS, they had brought their patrol dog, an intrepid Belgian Malinois whose name has not been released. The Belgian Malinois breed has been one of the most widely used working dogs for hundreds of years. Originally a sheepdog, the breed is now popular among the SAS for its strength and bravery under fire. When the firefight began, this dauntless puppy leapt into action. The dog's handler took off his muzzle and pointed him in the direction of the ambushers. The canine darted into the building where the attackers hid and one SAS soldier reported that they immediately heard panicked yelling coming from the enemies. When the SAS team entered the building, they saw their dog standing over the expired remains of one of the combatants and realized that the remaining eight had fled. The dog was virtually uninjured and the SAS commander reported that their miraculous escape was entirely due to the dog's bravery. Number 7 When a magnitude 7.1 earthquake hit central Mexico, it left much of the area in ruin. Many people were trapped in the rubble of buildings when one special Labrador came to the rescue. The dog's name is Frida, and she works with the Mexican Navy's canine unit. Equipped with a heightened sense of smell, tireless work ethic, and custom-made rescue gear, including goggles and boots, Frida scoured the wreckage. In her short career, Frida has saved over 50 lives. The people of Mexico can siesta worry-free, knowing Frida is on the job. Number six, ready to rattle. It was an afternoon just like any other. Paula Goodwin was walking her six month old golden retriever Todd on a trail near her home in Anthem, Arizona when she nearly stepped on a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are venomous predators that live in a wide variety of climates and are the leading contributor to snake bite injuries in North America. When Goodwin almost stomped on the poisonous serpent, it became agitated and lunged at her fangs first. Luckily for Paula, Todd jumped to her rescue. The heroic retriever intercepted the snake's attack and took a bite in the muzzle. Paula then grabbed Todd and carried him out of harm's way and to an animal hospital where he received anti-venom treatment. Pictures that Paula posted of Todd's swollen face quickly went viral and earned him the title of Hero Dog. A GoFundMe fundraiser hosted by Friends of Todd was created and has raised over $2,000 for other dogs who need anti-venom treatment. Todd has made a full recovery and lives to bite another day. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number 5 the next good boy on the list hails from South Africa, where he spends his days hunting illegal wildlife poachers at Kruger National Park. The dog is a Belgian Malinois and goes by the misleading name Canine Killer. Killer has been trained to track poachers and has garnered a prodigious reputation by aiding in the arrest of 115 rhinoceros poachers over the last four years. Illegal rhino poaching has become a lucrative business in South Africa due to the insatiable appetite for their horns across the continent of Asia, where they are used in traditional medicine because of their supposed healing properties, even though they are made from the same material as human fingernails. There are worries that rhinos will be extinct in 10 years due to the incessant poaching, which has led to South Africa's increased effort to apprehend the degenerate culprits. The UK's leading veterinarian charity, PDSA, awarded Killer with a gold medal and stated that his contribution to saving the rhino population is truly remarkable. Number four. Number four on our list proves that some heroes wear leashes. 
Amelia Milling, a 21-year-old deaf University of Tennessee student, faced death while hiking the Crow Pass Trail in Kugok State Park, 30 miles outside of Anchorage, Alaska, during her summer break. One of her trekking poles broke, and she tumbled 300 feet down a mountain before hitting a boulder and then sliding another 300 feet. After the protracted fall, she was lying on the ground and pondering her new empathy for the slinky when she saw what she believed to be a wolf. Having seen the gray and knowing that even the mighty Liam Neeson is no match for an Alaskan wolf pack, she began to panic. Luckily for Amelia, the wolf turned out to be Nanook, a Gerwood Husky owned by local Alaskan Scott Swift. Nanook has a reputation of guiding strangers across the 24 mile Crow Pass Trail and his owner has even endowed him with a collar that reads Crow Pass Guide Dog. And he completes the trail on an average of 10 times per year. Nanook helped guide Amelia back to the trail where she then slipped again and fell into a river. Some people have a hard time being rescued. The increasingly flustered Nanook jumped into the water and helped Amelia pull herself out of the river. The nearly hypothermic Amelia jumped into her sleeping bag. A rescue helicopter spotted the red sleeping bag and Amelia was saved. After the rescue, reports started coming in from hikers who had also been saved by Nanook. Turns out, he saved a little girl who also fell into the river and a hiker who had been caught in an avalanche. Number three. The nose knows. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 2016, a couple was awoken in the middle of the night to the sound of their neighbor's dog's panicked barking. According to the couple, the 14-year-old Lab Chow mix by the name of Che never barks in the middle of the night. Che's atypical behavior prompted them to investigate the disturbance. To their horror, they discovered that Che's owner's house was on fire. They immediately called the fire department, who arrived at the scene shortly thereafter. It was discovered that the owners of the burning home were fast asleep when Shay's keen nose sensed the smoke emanating from the fire. Firefighters reported that the dog's barking saved everyone in the building and that when they entered the home, they found Shay laying on top of his owner, protecting her from the flames. Both Che and the owner were treated for smoke inhalation, but were released from the hospital after a few days. Number two. During World War II, when the Allies were invading Sicily, an American service dog named Chips showed unflinching courage while storming the island's beach. The four-year-old German Shepherd slash Husky mix was pinned down with his handler, Private John Rowell, by a German machine gun nest. Chips broke free from Private Rowell and ran under fire towards the German enemy. He ran straight into the protected nest and started biting German soldiers like they were salted pretzels at Oktoberfest. He pulled a smoke grenade loose from its base, creating confusion among the krauts, and dragged one of them out by their neck. The rest followed with their hands in the air. Chips suffered some burns and a scalp wound during the attack, and he was eventually awarded with Great Britain's most prestigious medal for animal bravery. Fun fact, during a public meeting with General Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1945, Eisenhower bent down to pet Chips, not knowing that the dog was trained to snap at strangers. Chips bit the general in the hand, and that earned him some notoriety by the press. In 2017, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a Chihuahua mixed dog by the name of Mary Jane was with her owner visiting the Seminole Tribe Reservation. They were on a walk in the woods around 9 p.m. when Mary Jane suddenly started barking. Two bear cubs emerged from the bushes. Mary Jane ran up to engage the cubs instinctually protecting her owner. Immediately, a mother bear jumped onto the trail and began mauling Mary Jane. 
Mother bears are notorious for their ferocity when protecting their cubs, and Mary Jane suffered severe injuries while providing her owner with just enough time to slip away. Mary Jane's courageous act left her with several puncture wounds and a damaged chest cavity. She was treated by a Lauderdale veterinarian specialist who said the gallant canine had barely survived the ordeal. Luckily, Mary Jane responded well to the treatment and was cleared to go home after three days. Bored Badger!